The final video here I want to talk about is the accuracy of the unemployment rate. <coughs> On one level, it tends to understate the problem, meaning that it tends to make it seem really low. And um, I would say the biggest thing here is that if I said that it's 4.2%, it's making the problem seem smaller than it really is because there are pretty significant racial differences, especially if we're talking about Hispanics and African Americans. Also, again, it's not counting underemployment, meaning I'm working at a job that doesn't require the skill set that I have. Also, um, it's not taking into account anything about how low my pay may be and how bad or how dangerous my working um, situation may be. And then finally, it might be understating things because I'm not counting discouraged workers. So discouraged workers are people who don't look for work anymore just because the labor market is so bad. But it could overstate the problem as well. And it can overstate the problem because um, uh, essentially we could think that um, uh, to some extent that, for instance, again, with things like unemployment insurance, that people are just kind of like waiting it out. So they're being counted as unemployed, even though they're just kind of waiting because they want to just rest a little bit longer or relax a little bit longer and not try to find something right away. Also, the unemployment rate could be a little bit higher because of the efficiency wages existing, the minimum wage existing, and wages being sticky to some extent. So just like the GDP being both an overestimate as well as an underestimate, you see the same kind of issue happening for the unemployment rate.